Hey guys, it's time for another Exposed module. This one's called Gesture Navigation. It is of course available in the Exposed installer and it basically allows you to have multi-touch gestures on your device. It works on top of applications and you could easily use this to fully navigate your device instead of hardware or software keys. I'll demo that a little bit later on in the video. And you can also set gestures for specific apps or actions and it can save you a heap of time. Now you're probably wondering what's the difference between this and all the other gesture apps available in the Play Store. Well, mainly it's an Exposed module meaning it doesn't have to keep a service running constantly to work like most of the other apps do. So it should save you on your RAM and it shouldn't drain a load of your battery. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Now when you open the application you'll be greeted with a pretty simple interface. We have options for edge gesture, two finger gestures and so on. One thing to note is there is a premium version so some of the options will be off limits in the free version. For example the pinch in and out gestures on the three finger gestures and also all of the four finger gestures as well. Moving on we have options for touch, status bar, notification panel, navigation bar and lock screen gestures so you have a ton of options here to choose from. Let's go ahead and set some up. So for an example, we can use edge gestures, which uses the edges of the display, and you can have options for left, right, top, or bottom edge, and you can also change the width too. So we want to use the left edge, we'll tap into that, go ahead and flick the switch to on, and you now have access. So as an example, we'll tap into the up swipe option, and we'll set that to home. Now once I swipe up on the left edge, you can see it takes me home, so that gesture is active and working properly. Of course, you can have that set to any action instead, for example, the screen off, and you can see it works no problem. Now if for any reason you don't want these gestures active in a certain application, you can go ahead and exclude that individual app. Maybe it has a pull out draw and the gesture is interfering with it. And it's the same for the two finger gestures. Tap into the section, flick the switch, and we'll try setting the up swipe to an app this time maybe the calculator, then just use two fingers and swipe up and the calculator is gonna be activated. And this can be great for accessing your favorite apps really quickly from anywhere. So let's say you wanted to turn on the torch with a three finger touch gesture. You can simply dive into the touch section, turn the switch on, select three finger touch, find the torch action and you're good to go. Then you can use three fingers to tap on the screen. The torch will be activated as you can see it is actually on. Tap again and it will turn off. Now I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you could use these gestures to fully navigate your device instead of the soft and hardware keys. So let me go ahead and turn those off. There we go, and we'll dive into Google Plus. We'll scroll around a bit as if I was normally using the application, and I'll decide that I wanna go back home. So I swipe up from the bottom, and boom, we're back home. Going back in and tapping into a post, if I want to go back, I can just swipe left, and if I wanna to go to my recents, I can swipe right, and it works really well. I also have Google Now set to activate with a double tap on the left edge, and yep, there it is. Now the way I had this set up was to use the edge gestures, or more specifically the bottom edge, and I had the left swipe as back, the right swipe as recent, and the up swipe as home. I also used the right edge gestures for my double tap gesture, and this was a shortcut to my gravity box options, which allows me to toggle the expanded desktop mode. To do this, you tap into the gesture you want, choose pick shortcut, find gravity box options if you have it installed, and choose toggle expanded desktop. And yeah, that's it. You can easily toggle your soft keys with a simple gesture. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's a pretty cool module. Yeah, peace out.